Welcome, everyone. Um, we have uh, an agenda that uh, starts with both approving minutes and a process. Um, so you've seen the minutes. They were attached to the email. Our previous meeting was an ad hoc meeting. Um, this organization can have as few as one meeting a year just to give grants, but we've had some emergency meetings if we needed to make an adjustment. For example, that previous meeting, uh, Ruth and Julia were not involved then, so you probably don't want to vote on whether to adopt those minutes because you weren't participating. But um, it was just basically a group that was supposed to play at the fall festival wasn't available, so we had to meet to let the historical societies back up band get the grant. And of course we voted yes. And um, then Nance, I believe that um, what happened was the uh, town wouldn't allow us to approve the minutes without a process that said that Correct. we didn't have to hold a, a meeting to adopt the minutes. <laughs> um, so, so first we're gonna vote on the minutes and Nance, if you would like to read them, uh, then we can take a vote on that. And then after that, we'll we'll talk about process and then uh, let me the pull them up here. One moment, please. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I should have been more prepared. I'm. That's okay. If you'd like, if it's hard, I can uh, I can find them on my computer. That's what I'm looking for right now. I know they were all part of the attachments. Right, it says, wait, we cultural council meeting 22720 PDF. I resent them this morning. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, do you want me to just? There we are, okay, hang on, I think. Sorry, I'm, pardon me, okay. So the meeting was called to order at 12.06. And to see if the Cultural Council will approve a proposed change in performers at the Waitley Historical Society's Fall Festival on September 25th, 2022. The Council approved a grant of $250 for the pandemic string band to perform, but the band is unable to perform. The Waitley Historical Society has proposed that the Packing Shed Band be approved to play at the Fall Festival. The $250 funds needs to be reallocated from the Pandemic String Band to the Packing Shed Band. Paula asked if there were any other bands that had been considered and Nancy stated that that's up to the Historical Society. Nancy made a motion to reallocate the $250 for the Packing Shed Band and Rich seconded. All were in favor of the allocation and motion was passed. Okay, any questions on the minutes? Um, I propose that we uh, vote uh, to approve or, or disapprove of the minutes as, as written and read. Um, and uh, so let's see, I'm going to call on people who were um, at the meeting. I think Jenny, you also missed that meeting, correct? Okay, so uh, Rena. Yes. Um, oh, I approve. Adelia, um, and uh, Nance. Nance. Yes, approved. Rich. Yes, absolutely. Um, Paula. Yes. And I approve. So the minutes are adopted unanimously by those who are in attendance. Um, Adelia says yes, too. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I heard you say yes before. Okay. Um, so next, um, in light of the fact that we meet so sporadically, um, what we had tried to do was Nance had written the minutes, sent them to me. I thought they were fine. She sent them to the entire committee 
um, council, everybody said they were fine. I mean, everybody who cared to respond said they were fine. <laughs> um, they were, and um, so when she submitted them, they said, no, you have to have a process. So for a process, shall we say that the chair and secretary of the cultural council can approve minutes and can, you know, after consulting with members of the council for their approval. Yes. Any Absolutely. amendments to, to that? I guess I should write it down. Um, Chair and secretary Nancy can Dennis. approve minutes after sending to the council. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, okay. to solicit their, their approval. Um, no meeting, no additional meeting required. Yeah, because if we're going to meet once a year, for example, who's going to remember what we decided? So, okay. So, um, if is there any di further discussion on uh, this motion? Okay. So, um, again, we need a roll call vote because of the video taping and the fact that Zoom only one person can speak at a time. So, Ruth? Yes. Um, Julia? Uh, Rena? Yes. Adelia? Yes. Jenny? Yes. Nance? Yes. Rich? Yes, please. Paula? Yes. And I approve, so it's uh, unanimous. So we have a process, yay. <laughs> Thank you all. All right, so back to the agenda. I'm sorry, I have so many things open on my my um, computer. Um, okay, we're going to be doing the Cultural Council grant applications, going through them and using the spreadsheet to record how much to give to each um, grant proposal, proposer. Um, but there's one thing that came in late um, and that was a letter from a group that we had given a grant to for the past several years um, and they hadn't used their $200 grant from last year and that is um, racial justice rising. You all received the letter in today's packet and they're asking if we can let them keep their grant for next year to cover their expenses such as their website etc. And we did this before because of COVID when um, groups postponed their events, uh, we let them um, keep their grants and use them the following year. So this isn't unheard of, but uh, anyway, is there any discussion on how people feel about letting them keep their $200 grant? If we don't approve, then it goes into the pool and we add it to the spreadsheet is money that can be granted. Is this in lieu of an application for this year? They have not submitted an application for this year. That's correct. But it was already approved. They just haven't used it. Right. Mm -hmm. So they basically want to roll it over into the year they didn't apply for. That's correct. correct. I'm fine with rolling it over. OK, any other discussion before we take a vote? Okay. So do do we um do we learn how people use their money? Is there some accountability that happens typically after money's been awarded? Um yes. Um when they have done they don't get the money right away. They have to do their event and provide oh, proof. See. So okay. we do get uh what's called a reimbursement form and uh filled out with attachments, etc. And it takes two signatures from cultural council members to get it approved and submit it. So, so yes, there is proof when it is used. Okay. So any other questions or comments before we take a vote? Okay, again, a roll call vote. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do it upside down this time. Start with Paula. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, Rich? Yeah, absolutely. Nance? Okay, I saw you nod, you're on mute. Um, 
Jenny? Yes. Adelia? Yes. Rena? Yes. Julia? Sure. Ruth? Yes. And Nancy says yes. So uh, again, it's just fine. So we'll keep the amount of money that we have available for granting as it is. Oh, and uh, I'm sorry, we have to do elections next. <laughs> and um, so we currently have, as I mentioned before, uh, Nance Riffenberg is our secretary. Uh, Rich is our treasurer. And I have been the chair. And I am going to be retiring after the end of two terms in um, this coming March. So um, it would be probably good to have a new chair ready to take over um, at that time. Um, and also, um, we need a secretary and a treasurer. I don't know if uh, Nance and Rich, I, I nominate you both if you'd like to continue. Um, any I, I do others have who would like to be nominated for any of the positions available? Can I jump well, in for a second? If I don't, I'm sorry to interrupt, I do. I, oh, I'll, no, no, go ahead. The, the vice chair is an optional position. Would it be reasonable to consider a vice chair appointment as well to augment um, any additional duties that you normally take responsibility for? And you, know, you leaving in March, having somebody that taking the role of chair and taking the role of vice chair also can take the burden off because I know you do an awful lot and uh, it may be reasonable to uh, spread that out. Sure. Well, I mean, I'm not worried about that, but yeah, co-chairs, vice chair, whatever, um, with the understanding that the person would be the chair um, starting in March, that would be great. Um, do we have any volunteers for that position? It, well, you've seen some of the things I do, compiling the the spreadsheet and um, setting up a meeting, et cetera, making sure that um, when we receive reimbursement forms that they get signed and submitted to the, um, the town um, accountant for payment and so on, and responding to queries. Will you still be part of the Cultural Council or you just, or yeah, are you just stepping yeah, um, down no, from my, this role? My second term, there are three year terms for the Cultural Council. I've done my <laughs> second term. You can only be renewed once mm -hmm. for a th second three year term, and that's the end. I can be, um, I forget what it's called, I can stay on to help uh, mm -hmm. when required um, for a time. Um, so ex tempore, I guess, mm -hmm. but that's. Uh, but that's it. I can't be an official council member after March. Got it. Okay. Could you could you take that uh, suggested vice president role mm -hmm. or vice chair, whatever it is? Um, okay. I can't be on the council at all. At all. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh. That's too bad. You're just we need new members. Well, oh, anyway, hopefully right. this we is need new members. Well, anyway, hopefully this is Paula, you started to speak. But... Paula, you started oh. to speak, but oh. I'm sorry. Who was I'm sorry. Speaking? Who was speaking? Oh gosh. I don't know why getting I'm getting slapped an back. Echo. someone speaking that uh, was wanting to volunteer to be vice chair um this we can all approach other people in the community and invite them to volunteer to be on the cultural council and just put this off until until we have more talent and then you can hold an election at that time um so i guess we can table this until we have or members, um, I, is anyone willing? 
I I can agree to solicit someone okay. who I heard expressed interest on, in being on the cultural council. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think all of us need to reach out to people in the community because we need some some more people to handle the jobs. Okay, so we've started late and time is short. So I guess we should move on to the task at hand, which is our um, making decisions on the grant proposals that we have. And I am going to share my screen. Um, let me do that now. Oh, share screen, here we go. Um, this is the spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, here it is. Can everybody see the, uh, yeah. the spreadsheet? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can't see all the columns. Um, I have added a little bit of verbiage on the right. I've just slid this over. Um, when we make a decision and we have a denial, I mean, in other words, we're not going to give them funds. There are th basically three reasons. And so I've just written out on the right some um, abbreviations uh, that we can plug into this spreadsheet uh, to help um, when um, Nance sends out the um, rejection letters, which go out before the approvals. And that is, um, oh, um, REL I, is not clearly related. Pub is not enough benefit um, compared to other things that the US, that the council um, has received proposals for. And criteria, CRIT is criteria, to, didn't meet posted local criteria. And I realized there, I just did something really stupid. Okay. Was there we not also the option of just not enough funds? Well, we're making decisions, so I guess it's, I guess right, that would be pub. In other words, not enough public benefit compared to other projects that we did approve because funds are limited. Okay. I mean, we've got over 18,000 proposals and we only have 6,688. Right. Well, that's why I thought my memory was that there were things that we felt were good, but we just didn't feel like we had the funding from. So, okay, so you're saying- Right, we, yes, there's always we more than okay. we can fund. I have just stopped sharing the screen because we didn't reelect our secretary and um, treasurer. I am sorry for this. <laughs> I need to wake up. Um, sorry, but anyway, um, they, are there any other nominations for secretary or treasurer? If anyone yes. is interested in taking on a role as secretary, I'd be happy to relinquish it. On, uh, treasurer. treasurer. Um, and are, well, on the subject of treasurer, assuming we don't hear from anybody else volunteering, Rich, are you willing to continue as treasurer? I would continue. Elected I'm, and I'm, Nance? As secretary? Yes, I will, I will continue. Yep. Great. Okay. So Rich, I will you say. Be, do you want to be not treasurer so that you can consider chair? Mm. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, I'd be happy to stick with treasurer at this point. I'm just I'm trying to really get a hold of uh, the responsibilities of treasurer, and I'm hoping that. Uh, uh, another term will allow me to really anchor that down. I'm not entirely sure if I'm comfortable taking on the role of chair at this particular time. I don't think I've done treasurer long enough to be able to know enough of the broader scope of the decisions. So I'd be uh, less willing to do that, more willing to continue with treasurer. Okay. Ola, I can't, I saw you, your name lit up but I didn't know if you were speaking oh I'm here I I didn't know if I could join the meeting but I'm here but well yeah great um okay did you have a comment on um the uh, offices of 
treasurer and secretary? No. Okay, great. Well, um, hearing no other nominations and uh, thankfully we have uh, candidates for re-election for secretary and treasurer. Um, I um, nominate uh, Nance as uh, continuing secretary and Rich as continuing treasurer. Um, so I'll ask individually uh, if you are in favor or not, uh, starting with Ruth. Yes, for both. Julia? Yes, for both. Rena? Yes, for both. Adelia? Yes. Jenny? Yes, for both. Nance? Yes, for both. Rich? Yes, for both. Paula? <laughs> yes, for both. Okay, great. And I vote uh, in favor of both. So it's unanimous. Congratulations, Nance and Rich. All right, back to sharing the screen. Um, so we can start on um, going through these proposals. You've read the, them in your book. And um, I got the idea to organize this spreadsheet from our previous chair, uh, Larry Kuttner. Uh, people found it helpful, so I have um, taken the information from the um, the grant proposals and organize them by local entity where they exist, and then put all those that aren't part of a local entity underneath so that we can go through those events that are sponsored by, say, the library, the elementary school, et cetera, who will be the contact with the um, the artists will schedule them with will publicize their events or make sure that they have audiences and so forth. On the others, it's kind of hit or miss. We don't know necessarily in some cases how those events will be publicized because they might be outside organizations, et cetera. Um, so anyway, um, with permission of all of you, I suggest, although well. Um, discussion is welcome that we go through our entities first and go through the proposals that um, they have submitted. Um, is there any discussion? Anybody have any alternate suggestions? Erin, can, oh, can I add a, a ask a question unrelated to these specifically, but just what time we're going to go until tonight? Um, oh, midnight, one o'clock. <laughs> it goes till 1 a.m. And then we get together after. So <laughs> no, last year we managed in two hours. We started a little bit late because of the delay. Um, but it just depends how much discussion. Um, is everybody okay if we run a little bit beyond seven o'clock, or do you have someplace else to be something else to be part of? Um, well, shall we just yeah. go till seven and if we Need to, we'll have to either plan another meeting or just finish up. Yeah. I, I, I need to be out by seven. Me too. Okay. Well, we'll work, um, we'll do our best to. And to Sam, I mean to interrupt. What do we need for a quorum if we have uh, members leaving? What's the minimum Let's we need? See. We have eight people, so we need five. Yeah, five. 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 Would quorum. we still have a quorum and yep. be able to continue? Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. The um, other question, excuse me. The, the question that I would have is, is there a possibility of using a proxy vote in case we don't have a quorum? Uh, and can we assign that at this point? Don't think so, but I think we should have a, a quorum if, if most others, if five of us can stay on. Okay. So... Let's see how far we can get without having to go beyond seven o'clock. Um, all right, uh, starting with the Waitley Library, um, I have an unfortunate 
revelation on the application of Davis Bates. As you can see on this list, the library has asked for, well, it looks like three requests, one of which is the summer reading program. And I inquired about how Davis Bates was to fit into that program. He, it's a $475 request for a one hour presentation. And their whole program, which includes a lot of um, days and events um, for $500, it just didn't seem right. So Julie Cavaco, I think that's her name. She's a volunteer at the library has done the two proposals below Bates. And she said, I wouldn't hire him. And I called Cindy today and said, why did you recommend that we grant um, $475 to Davis Bates? And she said, I didn't. She did not write a letter. She told him on the phone when he called and said, you haven't hired me since Tiffany Hilton was the librarian. Um, and um, he went ahead and he did a grant proposal and he submitted a letter that appears to be from Cindy that she did not send. And if you look, Whoa. I don't know if anybody has this document open, but I found that the file name is not Cindy's name. It's got some name, Jason or somebody who, I don't know who that is, but anyway, it, I'm categorizing it as a project went to application. Any well, a, comments? It, yes, interesting, because I did make a note about that. I questioned it. I don't know any of this background, but I, I just, in reading it, I just questioned it. And I, I would not think it was uh, uh, prudent wise to fund it at this time. I agree. Yeah. Great, it's easy. Can, can I ask a question? I don't mean to interrupt. Uh, the, where's the letter? How do I access the letter on the panel book? Um, if you, do you have the panel book? Just do a search for Davis Bates or? It's the um, end of the application. Is it at the end? Yeah. Yeah. I can, let's see. I should have had, I did have it on my computer, but. Um, I, I, I want to share it. It's, it's, why are we even discussing it? It seems yeah. like it's on. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I have it from Cindy. I forwarded the letter to her. She said she did not write it. So I propose if it's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we go when we go through these things in the past, it's pretty much by consensus. So if nobody minds, I'm just going to say zero. And the explanation of unmet, oh, the denial reason is Great. broad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you, you, you cannot put that in writing at this time. No, I trust me, okay. I would not use that language. Okay. Um, Just say Chris. Um, I would use criteria. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I think that I should contact the um, Mass Cultural Council to advise them of this because yes. this is an improper attempt to use state um, provided Fun. funds. Um, yeah. So uh, I will let, let them know. Okay, so on the other two proposals, um, what do people think? Are there any comments on the summer reading program? That's I a have one. a question um, from my past life and working with, with other organizations. My question would be, what on earth do they need 500 or whatever amount dollars for a summer reading program? The children <laughs> go to the library, pick up a book from the library and read it. You know what, I, I, I simply do not understand the need for funds for this particular program. Okay, well, is it new books? It wasn't books. It was crafts and associated things. Right. Well, crafts is below. No, that was for seniors. For the seniors. other one is for youth. Yeah, this was for more activities that they were going to do. 
during the summer program. Yeah, they're going to have three or four evenings throughout the summer on, uh, that they're going to be doing this. There's going to be between three and four different evening events. And then, so there's targeting be the youth. Right. There's going to be storytelling and playing and crafts and things. There's going to be, it's going to be evening of events and it'll be held you know, at the library and, and this way. Yeah. I from, noticed from my, there were. From my perspective, it looks like a good opportunity for people within center town to be able to have a, a place to bring their kids and do other program things. I mean, it didn't seem to be unreasonable considering that it was three separate events and they were going to be supplying some of the crafts. Any other I mean, I'm open to opinions, obviously. I don't want to be the uh, defining uh, opinion. No, I, I agree with Rich. I think for three sessions, um, you know, and my, my assumption is they may have snacks or something or at least juice. Um, I, I think that's a very realistic price. Have they applied before? Um, yes, this is the first time that we have... Um, Julie Cavaco has apparently had some success in other towns. She's a volunteer at the library and she wrote this proposal, which has no money for herself. Um, Julie's the former children's librarian at Deerfield Library. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. And she knows yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think we should give them a chance. I mean, it's for it seems like there's a lot in here for only $500. Yeah. And um, if it attracts more people and families to the library and use the library, um, it's fine with me. Um, so now can I temper, if people are mostly in favor, can I temporarily put an amount mm -hmm. here? And then after we've gone through all the proposals, we can go back and review if we need yeah. money to take out for something else. That's how yeah. we've often often done this. The craft for seniors is next. It seems like it's gonna be four events. Do I have that right? Um, to be selected, but different craft activities for seniors. I wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, I feel like that's a shift to have something more for seniors from the library I like that yeah mm -hmm. yeah it looks like three workshops one per month March May and June uh, paper making small loom lap weaving and a third event uh, might be phonography or mini book making paper crafts mm. depending on interests so and and how refreshing that it doesn't include bingo <laughs> oh god <laughs> For yeah. this population. <laughs> Keno, so, <laughs> anybody um, have feelings against or shall we oh. put this down for now? Down for now. Okay. Let me enter $400 for that. And uh, so there we have $900 for the library. So on to the elementary school. Um, they have, uh, is that my echo again or somebody else speaking? I can't tell and I don't know what I'm doing. But any um, playful engineering for families is the first one. This is from the Frontier Regional CFCE Family Union 38 Family Network. Um, anybody have any comments on this? Nope. I think it's new and different. Uh, you know, it's something they haven't done before. And I think it's um, definitely promoting STEM, um, which is, you know, the, the buzzword. And I, I, I like it. I think it's new and different. Anyone else? Yeah. When when we're looking at these, I can't help also noticing the others in the list. And is there any rule around where these events take place? So I see Greenfield High School. Would that bounce them out and then therefore free up money for the other things? I'm just trying to weigh each um, one in my mind. 
Okay, here's the, the Pioneer Valley Symphony. We're jumping ahead, but um, Sorry. this is something that happens every year. The symphony performs for free. The $350, I believe, if it's not virtual. Yeah, it's not virtual. This is in person, right? Um, they bus all the kids into that's Greenfield. That's for the bus. Oh, so, right, got it. Yeah. So it'll be a school right. an event for the um, but, certain grade of the school to go by bus. But to right. answer your question, though, it is often a criteria whether we think people from here would go. Mm hmm to mm -hmm. a place that's not in town. Yeah. Okay. But this is within the school hours. Right, this, this is, is part, part of the, school, of the school program. So that's the answer for this particular thing. But, okay. right. but yeah, if it's out of town, then that is a consideration whether we think people would attend. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. and, so, and going back to the, um, the one we were talking about, the engineers, my only response my only thought on that is it's not during the school day, but it's specified to be for school families and being a Waitley resident with kids who aren't in the school, and I'm not the only one, I, I'd like to request that they open it up to all the, all the Waitley families. Mm. Yep. Um, so we can stipulate how they, like the their breadth of their project. We can ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's after hours, I see no problem with that. Jenny, can you just contact the school and see if you need, as a parent of children who are of elementary school age, but aren't going to that school, how you can involve them and be mm -hmm. alerted to event school events that they might be able to participate in? Yeah, I mean, I it, it there's I don't think there's a formal system for it. I mean, I had I have already talked to a secretary there about oh. notifying me when there's rec programs signups and stuff because they don't come to me there there's mm -hmm. there's sort of a pattern of distributing things through the school and that leaves some people out like my family and so mm -hmm. yeah. you know that that's why i'm conscious of this okay um, um so i think i'm just gonna put a little note on the side here um that maybe we can put in the acceptance letter. Basically just saying Jenny's request to include Whiteley children. Um, Regardless of their school enrollment. Yeah. I mean, there's enrolled. Whiteley kids at Pement, there's Whiteley kids at other schools so okay and so um uh nance and i can figure out how to include something like that in the um the letter to right. the school um or it's actually to frontier regional cfce they're putting they're in responsible for it. they're the applicant okay um, so I put down temporarily at least $400 for playful engineering. Um, if, let me know if you have any comments on that. We can change it either now or at the end of the program when we review or at the end of the meeting when we review all these. Um, Anna Sobo has done a hand puppet show for a couple of years um, at the elementary school. Uh, I've heard from the um, principal that they they are fantastic the kids love it and they would love to have Anna come back um, so any comments on the hand puppet show which is during school hours I believe sounds good Anybody? again I, I have a question can other school age children come um, Are there other elementary schools besides the Waitley, Waitley Elementary in Waitley? Yeah, um, the thing about the, 
when I asked about that a year or two ago on the Tanglewood Marionettes yeah. show, they used to be open to the public, but then they, um, because of COVID, they came up with mm -hmm. um, uh, not open sort of thing. Yeah. This is during school hours, so I'm not sure. Maybe things mm -hmm. have changed now um, that it's been a few years, um, but again, we can we can check with them. Mm -hmm. about that well it, it i think it's worth asking and like you know her her proposal says 400 people participate which is a no not 400 67 which seemed like a random number but there are also i don't think there were 67 people in the photographs so right it's probably a certain number of grades like i think she said it's like preschool to third grade or second grade or something like that so that might be the number that's in that age group because these are really i think that's more for the little kids but i'll have to mm -hmm. check my let's well, see how, how does one decide between marionettes and puppets <laughs> we don't we do both <laughs> really does well, anyone? Have I, I have a bias against marionettes only because I think they're really <laughs> creepy. But you know, that's just me. So, do they address the same? You know, and it costs many times more than the puppets. That's because the marionettes is a much bigger production, and it's okay. tied to classical music as well. I see. They're pretty okay. different. Yeah. Right. The puppets was more, if I remember correctly from the letter, um, teaching the kids about the environment and, mm. um, you know, saving a tree for lack of a better word, those kinds of things. That was the, that was the puppet show mm -hmm. um, where the marionettes are, as I said, include uh, classical music and everything you think of when you think of Tanglewood. And mm. is the whole school, I think, is that right? I think so, yeah. It is. It, yeah, the marionettes are two two separate shows, um, one geared to the really younger kids and yeah. one to the older kids. So everybody yeah. gets to Sorry for the echo. As long as it's not clowns. If it's clowns, I'm out. <laughs> what a bunch of wimps. <laughs> so uh all in favor uh, is everybody okay with anna sobel doing her yes. marionette show again with again i guess we'll um yes we will uh ditto the um the request to the school the tanglewood marionettes do two shows we haven't always fully funded it we've given the most of the money and i guess they find <laughs> some of the money elsewhere. So if we don't have $1,350 for that, I mean, the kids have loved it. It's been brought okay. back year after year. I think Adelia, before they clamped down on um, outsiders going into the school, Adelia, you attended some of them, is that correct? Absolutely. I was there every year. Hmm. And it's a wonderful you... show. Okay. All right. So. So far, we haven't used up all our money because we haven't been through all the proposals. So I'll just put the whole amount here and we'll revisit it later. Mm -hmm. And the symphony, this is just bus fare, basically. Um, I mean, pay, payment for fare, basically. Pay, payment for the bus drivers. Oh, gosh, I wish I could turn oh, off my I echo. I could turn off my echo. Would, I wonder if it would help would, if I wonder the, if it rest would help the rest mute. of us mute. Maybe that's, Maybe it. that's yeah. it. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess be mute unless you're speaking. Thank you for remembering that, Julia. I couldn't remember how we normally handle that. Okay. Uh, that seems to work. Any um, comments on Pioneer Valley Symphony? I love the idea of children being able to see and hear a symphony. Um, in I think is it second grade that gets to go it's a one of the younger classes I believe I'm very disappointed that I've aged out 
<laughs> you can go, I think, if you have your own car. Okay, well, hearing not, nothing against it, I'll put down 350 for now. And let's see how we are doing. We have $3,363 left for the rest. Um, okay, so that's the elementary school. Union 38 Family Network has a request for early childhood music and movement. This is Janet Ryan. She's a performer, plays some musical instruments. She did a few concerts uh, with the kids outside the Waitley Library. I think she has instruments for them to join in. Um, looked like fun. Some kids attended. They were in the gazebo last year, and they've asked for her to come back. So any comments on this? Nope. The, um, well, you told speak? us to mute, so. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. If you have anything to say, <laughs> unmute. <laughs> now, I've heard Janet is, is quite good. So I, I, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Anybody anyone else? Has anyone seen her before? I, I have heard, I've seen her before. She's, um, yeah, she's quite good. Okay. Right. Well, definitely good for $300 again then until we run out of money and then we'll revisit. All right. And then the Historical Society um, puts on two programs that are not necessarily historical. They are events for the town, the Spring Festival and the fall festival so that we have opportunities for the town to get together uh, around Memorial Day uh, weekend and then in the fall. And they have entertainment each year and, um, and seek grants to pay the entertainers. So here's what they're asking for spring or fall and fall. Um, any comments or questions? No. My only comment is that the Lonesome Brothers are $200 per performance each, and the other band is $100 per performer each. As to how many people in the band, I suppose. That That's taking in, that's what it is. One is two people and one is four people. Right. Then it depends on what they ask for. I don't think it's up to the Historical Society to just make up a number. They probably were asked them what they would charge for this event, and this is what they got. I'd be willing to support them both. I think there'd be good opportunities for uh, entertainment in town. Okay. Um, any other comments before I plug in numbers any questions hearing none temporarily at least all how much did the band uh, during the 250th get well we had um different ones um the brass band was well over a thousand dollars but that was 15 pieces i think okay. um, the job too paul newland got some major fans for which people had to pay for tickets. Mm. Um, I don't remember what else there was. Were there other bands that I don't remember? Yeah. But the, the Historical Society, I mean, the I'm sorry, the Cultural Council only covered the, um, the brass band and the Friends of the Library um, provided some of that money as well. Mm -hmm. is, is part of the hope that we will attract outsiders to Waitley? Like, is this part of Waitley's brand? We've got good music, come to our events. That would be a bonus, I would think, but I think our, our mission is really to provide for the people in Waitley. If the folks outside of town come in, it's a bonus as long as they get, you know, reasonable and civil, obviously, would want to have them, anybody, yeah. would, I would think we'd want to invite anybody into town. No riffraff, yeah. 
Yeah, plum, plum, but not if you're riffraff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I think that would be a bonus if it happened. I think that, but what we're really looking, mm -hmm. I mean, I could be uh, open to discussion, but I think it, we're, we're sure. really trying very hard to, to offer a cultural opportunity for everybody within town to be yeah. able to unite and then create community. If we can create community through the events that we support, that makes Waitley a stronger town. Yes. You know, culturally and, and uh, in many other ways as well. If yeah. it brings other people in, that's a bonus, I, I'm sure. But uh, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Nancy, what do you think? Um, yeah. Um, unfortunately, with so many things on my computer, I can't bring up what we have as um uh, our mission, which we should probably visit. Let me see if I can I'm open sure. another. If somebody can go to our cultural council link and then without logging in, go to read what it says on the Mass Cultural Council for Waitley, talks about how our priorities are to provide um, to provide opportunities for um, children and seniors, especially, and also mm -hmm. to provide opportunities for Waitley people to participate in cultural mm. events and also to provide mm -hmm. opportunities for Waitley artists. Uh, we don't talk about people in out other towns, et cetera. Okay. So are um, these two bands, Wait Waitley, Lonesome Brothers and Old Lonesome Country Brothers Road? is not, I believe, um, and I'm not it's sure about really, this. I don't think they're Waitley, but they have been around for, yeah for quite some time and doing gigs uh for for small towns in the area i i would say sure. they're um they're kind of hometown boys you know yes. they've, yep. they've grown up in franklin county area yep yeah i think one of them lives in hatfield but they've yeah they they're local guys yep there may be some Waitley people in Old Country Road band. I'm not sure of that group. We've had Waitley bands for a number of years, um, but sometimes bands disband. Yeah, yep. Mm. So anyway, um, it's up to the Historical Society to decide who they want for their entertainment. Um, and I'm sure they're trying to get Waitley people involved as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, well, I have them temporarily fully funded for their two events. So on to the Senior Center. Um, we have two requests. Any comments on the first one, which is coping with COVID isolation stories, um, which is theater, for which they're asking $750. It wasn't enough that we had to feel isolated. Now we have to watch <laughs> theater of the same yeah, stories right. of isolation. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I, that one is a little, uh, I'd yeah. like to see something a little more hopeful, frankly. Uplifting, yeah. yeah. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. There was an article today about these stories in the recorder today. Okay. Um, and it, you know, it talks a lot about the isolation that seniors felt, and it, it, mm -hmm. it frankly, it did not sound very um, Up, uplifting. Uplifting, or you know, I mean, I think I would, if I saw it, I would walk out of there being very depressed. Yes, me too. <laughs> I'm depressed just reading the title. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's more sort of the development, and I mean, the, there is a piece developed done somehow, but it, it, because they've already done a performance of it or whatever a presentation but it sounds like it was partly taking these 24 people's interviews and developing those in particular we can just go ask our own families we got plenty of stories yeah <laughs> as much as i'm a, a a staunch supporter of the senior center and would always be i think that it's provided a lot of benefit for the people who do uh spend time there um personally i i, I think it's an awful lot of money for us for I, i'd rather see it used for some of the band entertainment or the picnics and things of that nature i would rather see us um provide those opportunities for them they're more uplifting and more uh mm -hmm. community gathering 
Um, Absolutely. Agreed. I agree. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So or maybe question. buy the bottle of wine for all the senior citizens in Waitley. <laughs> what okay. was that? Buying a bottle of wine for each senior citizen in Waitley. <laughs> oh, <know>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so should we just say zero or should we give them a small amount of money so that if the other towns that have been asked nope. um, zero. provide the money? Just say zero. Perhaps okay. we could wait to see what we have at the end of our to re readdress whether or not we have funds available to be able to provide for it. Okay. I don't, so I, I, I put in zero for now I, and we'll I come up with a reason. Certainly don't want to exclude the senior center and sport. No. Center. Yeah. Well, how about how about bus fare to get them to some of the cultural events that are community oriented? You know, like how are seniors going to go to some of these really cool events say at the historical society busing for the senior center is, is um, a little bit i know the senior center itself had a bus system and it was uh, something okay. that was critical for her to be able to get out yeah. um i don't believe they're using it currently mm -hmm. uh, i know the rta bus system had an uh, additional busing opportunities but i think that was more for going shopping and going to doctor's appointments sure. So yeah. busing okay. is is incomplete that I'm understanding of it. Um, I'm sure that the people who are involved in it are, are trying to, you know, make it as functional and, and uh, supportive as possible. Um, Saturday, I'll let's stick to Saturday. the agenda. Yes. yes. Um, yep. yep. Because we can't, we're going to just talk about, um, I, in order to end at seven anyway, yes. we need to go through our proposals and, Mm -hmm. We're not really charged with the job of providing <laughs> transportation. Right. Uh, we do have a problem in these towns, I, I understand, of getting people places if they don't drive. But um, And there's valley neighbors. But uh, anyway, let's uh, try to get through the proposals. So for now, we have zero. We can come back to it. Jimmy Maz, you all saw uh, I flagged a problem with his there were several problems with his proposal um one of which is he didn't break this down by the three towns but as um jenny noted um to me earlier he's just one person and he's asking for fifteen hundred dollars for his performance yeah. uh it's a lot of money one and show, we, we right? send that many people to that to the senior center for this um christmas party well i don't know um if anybody here goes to the Christmas parties at the senior center, about how many people in from Whiteley do you see? The Christmas party that the Grange helped put on last Saturday, we had 60 people. And this out is... of the 60, most of it was South Deerfield, and there was very few Whiteley. I was very disappointed. Okay, but we're talking about who shows up at the senior center concert uh, party. I so, have been over there quite a few times, and probably twenty, the most. Okay, Adelia, any comments? Have you been to any of these parties? No, no. Okay, so how much do we want to spend for the Christmas party? at the South Deerfield Senior Center for I, this. I don't feel like that's what we've been asked to fund. I think we were asked to fund this musician. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And we're funding James Mazafaro, who's I don't I don't want to give him anything. I don't want to give him anything if his salary is fifteen hundred for one show. Is is there any other support from the other towns? You know, they don't tell us that. I mean, we have to just guess and assume that they do. If we offer them, say, 200 or 250 mm -hmm. which would be $10 or more for each Waitley person expected to go, and the other towns kick in more, then he can decide if he's going to accept that or not. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't, mm -hmm. then we, don't, we haven't lost any money because we're not going to pay him if he doesn't do the show. So there's no danger in giving him a lesser amount. Mm -hmm. um, Good. Yep. But he wrote the he wrote this, right? 
He it's wrote not, this, but he it's he not did, from the senior center. No, he may be national. He's got a lot of press. It's for the no. The senior center did write a letter of support. They want him. He's been there before, and they loved him. Okay, good to know. It's all in the. Um, yeah, well, so is David Bates. Proposal. Hmm? So is David Bates. Oh yes, but I got a personal email from the the um, head of the okay. senior center because I asked this question, like, "What's going on? This is for the wrong year." Etc. Uh, we're not necessarily going to have anything approved before this party that was scheduled for 2022. And there's nothing in the proposal saying how much she's asked from the other towns and on and on. And she wrote back, she contacted him because she did want him. And then she sent me his information. So she knows it's not, this is not a fraudulent letter. So. Um. Yeah. What do people want to do? Nothing. Nothing. Can we offer two hundred dollars to support the, the senior center's yeah. Christmas yeah. party? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think why you could do offer two hundred? I have a question. If we want to support this the senior center Christmas party, which I think is a good thing, then why are we giving that funding to an individual? Why don't we instead give it to the Senior Citizen Center and ask them to disperse it as they want to? So it's their decision. If they needed to, to purchase fruit punch, so be it. If they want to give this gentleman additional monies, that'll be their decision. I, I, have, I have an answer. <laughs> and I know this is the way the Senior Center asks for funds. They don't want to be bothered doing the grant proposal. They ask the artists, if you go through past years, only the artists propose. The senior center never asks us for anything. They ask that the artists themselves do the grant proposals to the three uh -huh. towns. And so they just don't have the capacity. They're a part-time senior center. So this is, they asked him to propose and he did. And he has their support. It comes via the, the um, director's letter of support. I still kind of feel the same way Rini does though. I, I, I don't like funding being tied to his performance when that isn't really our message. Yeah. I, th well, I think the message is to provide support for the seniors as well as, as you know, grade school kids and such. Um, if it's part of the holiday music program, I mean, it's an awful lot of money for one person, I'd agree. And we have to be able to uh, delve out quite a bit here in order to make sure that we support as many uh, uh, performers as we can and, and uh, programs. I do agree with Nancy, if we could, off if we could, put $200 down to start because we'd, I do would I would like to support the senior center at some level. I, I would love to see better or different programming, but I don't know. I've never seen them, so I don't know what that's all about. And I don't know what, what other towns are providing for support for his program so he can have that program. It almost seems like they're just asking from Whateley. Um, they're definitely so, not just asking from us. He's got to have proposed to South Deerfield and to Sunderland. It doesn't it usually say the other that. two towns, correct? That's, I, don't, I don't see the proposals. He didn't the, put it in his proposal. These people are <laughs> asked to do the proposal by the senior center, and they're not told how to do it and that they have to divide it among the three towns. And this is why, Rich, we had this conversation about Okay, how many people from Waitley go versus how many from South Deerfield and Sunderland so we can make sure it's fair and the senior center director wouldn't tell you how many from the other two towns. So, so we just have to do our best and we know our population is much less and South Deerfield has more because they can walk there. Yes. <laughs> Waitley people cannot. So um, let's do the 200. Oh, I agree. In the past, 
Okay. In past years, we've been asked to support the artists of choice by the senior center for both the Christmas party and um, a, a, I think a summer barbecue or something. And this year yep. there isn't entertainment that we received. There's a new director, so maybe they're not doing it or maybe they're just not asking. But anyway, this isn't a lot of money for the senior center. So we'll try that. Nancy, before you go forward, the Historical Society had two more. They had the Sorry. face painter and the- I have 200 guy. down for them. Yeah, I, I filled them all in. Oh, okay. I, thought we I had don't remember everything. talking about anything but the band. Oh, we didn't, okay. Fine. No, if uh, anybody has anything about um, these two other programs that are all part, the first two, Learning about pollinators and the Lonesome Brothers Band are both for the Spring Festival. And the Face Painting and Old Country Road Band are for the Fall Festival. I'm sorry, I thought we had agreed to everything, but if there's discussion on any of them, by all means, yeah, let's talk. You're fine. Yeah, I don't have any objection. I just don't rem didn't remember talking about them. And that this has been their formula for having to funding for two or three components of each event. Mm -hmm. I think we lumped them all in together, talking about the fall and the spring together. So that may be why there was confusion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, we have now gone through all the programs that have been requested by Waitley entities. And we have $1,663 left. Of course, any of the amounts that we've put in already can be adjusted if need be. So let's go through and see what people think of these other events. Uh, first one is the Antenna Cloud Farm, which is music at various locations. Well, their request is reasonable. I'm not sure I totally clear how it works or how people will even know yeah. about it. Or, And I guess I thought if there was any near here, but they're all really, you know, North County. I mean, Gill and Turner's and, yeah. Um, We're having trouble getting people to show up to local event services. Correct. Further out. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's say, is everybody okay with saying zero for now and just um, yep. see what my yes. code was? Yep. Is um, yes. pub not enough uh, public benefit for Waitley? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Jeffrey Baker has this Conway Fine Arts concert <laughs> series. Um, season two concerts and is asking for four thousand three hundred dollars. Oh, and it's mm. venues in Franklin County, not in Wheatley, I'm sure. <laughs> nope. I hear laughing. Uh -oh. Is that a zero? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, it's I, a good I, program, but that's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we have the resources to be able to support that right now. No. Considering all the other applications we have. Mm -hmm. Well, I've temporarily put zero if anybody has any comment further comments and I'm, I'm sure, it's a, I'm sure it's a wonderful concert I, I i wouldn't doubt that whatsoever i just I, i'm concerned that we won't have we can't spread out the number of right. programs by just focusing on one that's you know in conway and other venues in franklin county and and whether or not we're going to be able to get enough people from Waitley to be able to enjoy the program. Um, I think one of the things we talked about before is messaging on the programs that we have that we do agree to. And, and how does that get out and make sure that it, it's, uh, you know, folks know about it. Um, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, it's just the community rug making project. Any comments on that? Are we it's expensive. It sounds really interesting. It up a little. It sounds really interesting, but I yeah, think it does. there'll be very small participation, and you know her 
photographs, in fact, indicate that. Hmm. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, if we're going to give any money to it, it's a lot less than. I would agree. I don't think that it warrants that amount of money. I agree. I mean, we can give any amount we want. I assume that 1213 is for the entire program. Right. And some, some people don't break it down by town, uh, asking for a smaller amount from each town. But anyway, for now, we're just well, saying sorry it's no it's a multi week program which is mm -hmm. i mean it's not extravagant for what it is but i don't see people i don't see too many people overall being engaged i mean know. we could give them 50 dollars if you think it would be worth it it's up to up to all of you if you want to give something well but, looking at the looking at the sum that they're requesting and if if the project is a rug making project then yeah. i would say that that's merely the cost of materials a lot of it is the cost of materials not yeah. all of it there is uh, some fee for the rug maker but it again it's over like five or six weeks yeah mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was interesting. I thought it it's different. Mm -hmm. It's creative. It's, mm -hmm. it's then selling the, you know, auctioning the rug off to benefit. I think it was the food bank. You know, that, that was kind of cool. And there's some potential for a lot of people to hear about it. I'm comfortable giving them a little bit. 50 or 100. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Uh, hundred. Yeah, why don't we say a hundred for now? Okay. All right. I think she's been collecting scraps, so maybe a lot of it is not expensive materials. Um, all right. Hilltown families suggests they have asked for money every year. This is for um, a weekly digest of events. To date, we haven't given them any money. Any comments? Can I ask Jen, Jenny? Yeah. Um, have you used this in the past? I know when we were, when the boys were younger, we have uh, used it from time to time to find out what um, opportunities were out there for. I do review it periodically. Mm -hmm. um, you find it helpful? But... Not especially. No. no. <laughs> okay. I well, have I have a, a little sister. I'm part of the Big Brothers Big Sisters program, and I have a little sister, so I read it for things to do with her. Yeah. Um, and I find it useful in the summer, and just for us that works more in the summer. Yeah. Um, but I think if you've got smaller kids, I think it it could be useful. Yeah. But they've been surviving without our help for all these years. Right, right. Sure. If we uh, have a little bit of money left over, we could give I'd them. I'd be happy some to support. throw some into the kitty forum if we had something left over. We still have a bunch more stuff to go through. So, mm -hmm. okay. Um, so I'll just put some question marks there to come back to it. Sure. Um, all right. Um, caregiver and child music class for Hilltown families. I think they did several um and it was very well received and they only asked 75 dollars um i'm fine with that yeah does anybody from waitley go yeah i asked and they said um i was told yes but I don't know who went. Well, yeah, Is this okay. for really small kids and parents? I'm trying to remember which one this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. it is that one. It's for very small. There's two like it. Yes, it's for very small kids and parents. It's, it, you know, it's basically an introduction to music. Mm -hmm. I did take my kids to something like this when they were that young. 
Um, and I, I think it's great. We paid, I love that this is free. Um, mm -hmm. I doubt, you know, I doubt there's a lot of kids and there is another similar program. Um, So I wouldn't rule it out, but but I don't think we can justify a lot to it. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to throw out a number? I, I think they're only asking for $75. I mean, I don't. Oh, OK, so $75 sounds good. That's what we gave last year. All right, Hilltown Youth Performing Arts Program, uh, Hilltown Youth Recovery Theater Summer workshop this i think is it's at the former heath school my feeling is this is a really good important program can parents get their child to the former heath school that that's is the problem a schlep. Mm. Yeah. i didn't think we supported it let me just make sure we I did not it. report we um support it last year because of the distance yeah. If it were even in Ashfield, which is where the um, Double Edge Theater is, mm -hmm. that would be fine. But he is. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a great program, but I, I don't, I just don't see our local families participating because of a, a transportation problem. Mm -hmm. just, well, if it's your yeah, kid, you'll find a way to do it. Sure. If it's your kid who needs these services, you'll participate. Um, I think what we we recognize is that there's such a small demographic of possibility, considering mm -hmm. the other options that we have to support, that it may be. I think last year we didn't support it because of that. Not not that it's not a good program by no means of the words. It's just that it we have so much that we need to support. Right. That's I agree. It, it's very yeah. personal. It's very case specific. Yeah. And and far. Yeah, we a, have 1488 a, left. Do you want to give a few hundred dollars to this? And maybe uh, one of our kids doesn't, but another deserving child could go if mm. if ours can't. Nancy, a few Nancy, hundred. Nancy, you know what? I didn't see George Owens on. He's I, there. And I he didn't see Ken Whiteley. He was there. He's he's on the list. That's a, the flute he's concert, coming up. right? He's yeah. coming up. Okay. I thought he would have been Waitley. All right. I just didn't want to go. He may be in Waitley, but it, it he's at, his request is coming as an he's being an individual as opposed to being a Waitley organization. Okay. I just didn't want our money to run out before we got to him. Okay. So Why you put question marks in, Nancy. We're putting question marks in for the Hilltown Youth Performing yeah. Arts. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, Sander Jaffe has this Columba group. They're based in Cambridge. He's from Conway. He's they're planning a concert at the Haydenville Congregational Church um, in April. What looks do people like, think? We haven't supported them in the past, but looks like the uh, the admission is between ten and twenty five dollars for that program. Yeah. Does it still say that no one will be turned away? I I don't know. I always have a um, a twinge when I see that because everybody who goes is going to want to contribute something. So are we putting our money into something that they're going to make more money off of? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Just because even though it should be free for Waitley people because we're putting in the money, everybody would be embarrassed to walk by without putting in something, I think. Right. Yeah. Um, There's still enough here that we haven't covered yet that we need to, that I'm wondering yeah. whether we, you know, if we should okay. pass for on now, that. For now, shall we say yeah. questions? Yeah. <laughs> I and mean, it sounds like a good um, being in Haydenville is close enough to Waitley that I think you might get some people. But again, it's, right. it's a traveling thing. If we're not getting people out of town to other venues already, um, I'd love to know what the attendance is. I really would on these programs. Yeah, um, it would be well, yeah, I would oh. like that. Columba yeah. did a concert at um, 
the West Waitley Chapel as part of Watermelon Wednesdays. It's very classical. It's, I don't know if it appeals to everybody. They're very good, but it's you have to want to hear them. Um, next is Ken Longstreet. Well, it's not him. It's Jeff Gavioli's uh, Bad News Jazz Band. They played at the 250th uh, when we had the balloon, the tethered balloon rides thing, and they're they're great. It's a big band, um, but it's not something that we can afford every year, I would say. It's for right. maybe really special occasions, and we just had them last year. So what is it? They're still the friends of the library, though, right? To ask to. They're on a them. hiatus, and oh. I don't know what they're doing, whether they're going to continue or not. Okay. They didn't submit any pro grant proposals. I noticed that, and I was going to ask why. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I missed them this summer. I'm impressed that, you know, that the only expense is $60 per performer. Yeah. Um, they, they were excellent. They were, they were, they're a really great band. I was surprised and very pleased with uh, their performance and a great job. I, I'd be interested in give, trying to give them something and hope they can come up with the rest somewhere. I mean, it'd be nice to get a really big crowd at the library for a concert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's close and it's a good concert. Um, but do we want to bring the same band back for another concert after only one year? They, they submit proposals every year. Well, you answer that. If you saw them and you thought you they were great, would you go again? I wouldn't. As soon? No, I don't want to go every year to the same concert. I, Even though a friend of mine is in it, I mean, I you know I missed it, so I'd want to go. But yeah, um, my 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 opinion is is anything that brings a community gathered community in Waitley is a great venue. Mm -hmm. um, but on the same token, we have a bunch of other stuff we have to go through. So what I would suggest is maybe put uh, the question marks there again, so we can revisit it after we've decided okay. what we really have. All um, right. Time check, we're at uh, 6.45, so let's see how quickly we can get through the rest and go back to revisit those. Um, this Tiny Glass Tavern Concert and Singing Workshop, Conway and Haydenville for January. It sounds very interesting, but it would be, I think, a select group of people that would be interested in it. Um, I don't think it's for everybody. Um, because it's a singing workshop. So if you don't sing, you're not likely to go. Right. So I think it's a select audience. It's a bad time of the year to go singing in January <laughs> to Conway and Haydenville. It gives you something to do at that time of year anyway. Right. But, but my wheels don't go up hills. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Anybody? Want to make a strong argument for it, or shall we just give it zero for now? Zero. Okay. And we'll just say pub. Uh, Marilyn Morales, always remember showcase from the world premiere. This is opera, musical theater. It's $850 on cable. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No. I say no to anyone no, no, no. on cable. <laughs> Not really a draw. Um, okay, George Owens has a couple of groups. He's part of this tr uh, flute trio that's wonderful, that does classical. He's also part of um, a saxophone quartet. Um, very good musician from West Waitley. Um, they did play at the town hall, the flute, flute trio I think four years ago maybe I'm guessing three or four years ago um, and then they were partially supported by the friends of the library but I don't know that they've asked the friends this time because I don't know if the friends is doing anything any comments I always go to them I, I would be fine with it 
Yeah, it being that it's at the Whaley Auditorium, mm -hmm. um, I like that. I think it's it supports it, it's within walking distance for a lot of people. You know, mm -hmm. although I, I'm I'd love to know what the date was going to be when they were planning it. That's right. Ah, to be yeah. determined. Yeah. Right. What that, did they, um, and how do we we know that's happening with the signs and the scoop, or do they have other? Let us see how they plan to promote it. I'm looking up flute concert. Uh, target audience. Children and seniors. Oh, from children to seniors. Oh, no cost to attendees. Um, they're very qualified. Let's see. How do you plan to promote the project? We will coordinate with the local venue slash sponsor to assure publicity through a combination of social media, posters, flyers, or at local bulletin boards, emails to our list, listings in local calendars, etc. Out of curiosity, do they post the events at the town hall in front of the town hall? No. They do. They have sandwich board. Yeah. No, I've but never seen post. it. I have. That's usually the only way I know about stuff. Right. It's too bad that they don't post that in advance. So the, uh, a, a couple a week or so in advance. Um, I would love to know when it was going to be. I mean, mm -hmm. I would love to be able to see it. I think it's a great. It sounds really neat, but um, mm -hmm. I don't want to just. I don't want to discourage it either. Yeah. I mean, this is unusual. If it, that they're not associated with the library, which would be putting it out to their list. Um, we can ask for help from the library to promote it, even though it's not their event. Um, and if, when I hear the date, all of us can promote to our friends and we'll know when it's happening. But other than that, I don't know what we can do. Well, you said that they're going to coordinate with the hosting place, but the hosting place is the way the town hall, hall doesn't doesn't host. <laughs> yeah, so that's right. So I think we would be legit to raise that as a concern about their application and say, you know, we need to you need to up the just the usual or whatever. And the mm -hmm. question of the date, too. Mm -hmm. Nancy, what's our balance at this point, our, our available balance? Okay. Uh, we have $1,488 left. Okay. And we have some things with question marks that we may fill in some dollars. And we have a few to go, but not, not a lot. Um, okay. I think it's a great program, and... and they're not asking for a lot of money. Um, I, you know, I do agree that it needs to be publicized better, but um, I think as far as us giving them the money, we should do that. Okay, so shall we put 450 and then over on the side um, uh, note, um, publicity, uh, town hall does not publicize. They don't have a calendar to my knowledge. Okay. So did we give we give feedback to grantees in things like notes, these kind of notes? We have not in the past, but um in these two, I believe two cases. Mm -hmm. Um we have Jenny's request about the school uh, availability for uh, children outside the school. You also made the same request for um little superheroes so i thought that was the only way we could um yeah do that i don't know we we might going. if we can send messages to them i think we should urge them to get on town hall's case to publicize it for the well, sake of waitley, <laughs> waitley residents to get on whose case just, Town just Hall doesn't it, have a staff, really. They have a maintenance person who is right. mm. a professor. Um, yeah, they're, 
it's not their job. There is nobody. We don't have a staff paid staff person mm. at all for town hall. Right. It's just a facility. So they can't use that as a mm. way to publicize. But so we that have to note bad. that in the yeah. letter. I mean, tonight is when we're making our decisions. Mm -hmm. um, so we can't like go back and have them repropose and come up with another idea and then vote on it. Um, no, but no, I, I mean, I think it's appropriate to say we want this to happen and here's our concern. You know, please try do your best to address it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why right. I've made this note yeah, out to right. the side and Excellent. Nance and I will figure out in the acceptance letters when it's time to get those out, what we will say to to make our concerns known to these people that we, we do want them to come, but we have, have some concerns about certain aspects. Okay, uh, so we just have a few left and then we need a few to revisit and I think we can get out of here at least a few minutes after seven. Um, survival centers, that's in Amherst. They no. ask for money for their lunchtime concerts. Mm -hmm. Who from Have Waitley is gonna drive over there for a lunchtime concert? <laughs> Have we supported that ever before? No, okay. it's Enjoy. a half hour drive. Yeah, I know. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't see it benefiting anyone in Waitley. No, I don't either. Oh. Does anybody in Waitley partake of their services? Not that I know of. They don't get food or housing? Not to Amherst. Okay. There's well, a Franklin County. Um, That's Hampshire County. Yields program. This is Hampshire, yeah. Although I just signed up to be a volunteer at the Survival Center and the gal who is the director there said that everybody who goes into the Survival Center can get food, whatever they need. It doesn't matter what town they're coming from. Right, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I think it's, I thought that the letter that, I thought the application was pretty compelling. Um, and they're not asking for much. Yeah. And it's and it's a place I know about. Maybe that's because I lived in Hampshire County longer than I've lived in Franklin County. If I was in need, I'm you know, that's I'd probably go there. This isn't about whether the um survival centers, and there are several, are uh worthwhile, but whether we want to support a concert and our goal is to find cultural events for Waitley people and to use it That's to provide strategy. opportunities mm -hmm. for Waitley artists. Um, and this doesn't seem to, to meet that. If somebody is homeless from Waitley, they probably wouldn't be driving to Amherst for tunes at noon, but they might use their services. That's just different. This is to pay for concerts. Well, there's no. Uh... Okay. Um, that might be feedback for them, though, that if there were artists from Waitley putting in a request for a performance there, that would fit our criteria better. No, if I understand it correctly, there was no parent organization support for this, was there? I think that's what I was understanding. Um, okay. Or did the survival center write a letter for in support of uh, their attendance? I yeah. thought the letter came from the survival center, oh, but I, I might be wrong. I no, it could be. I just I yeah. No, there was a letter from the survival center, and then also one from a past user of the of their services saying that that was really helpful. I I have been there one time when they've um, provided meals, and they usually have a music venue during the dinner, which is which was quite nice at the time. Um, it kind of broke up the uncomfortable silence of actually sitting there. Um, 
what what what's our balance at this point? Okay. Um $1,038. Um, I, I, I would vote to abstain from it, right? But not that I would not want to support it, but just to, in lieu of some other options that I think mm -hmm. we have on the table, I think we need to look at those first. Any other opinions? Mm -hmm. I would agree. Let's, go, let's get to the bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. Um, so the last two are, um, there's the Friends of the Great Falls Discovery Center uh, is putting on a program at the Shea Theater, The Power of Place, Finding a Sense of Belonging, uh, Conversation and Song. Um, and they're asking $200 from Waitley, and this is going to be March 12th. Any comments, questions? Doesn't the um, grammar school have a lot of pro, uh, encourage participation at the Shea Theater regularly? No, I'm time. sorry, what school? Wait, the grammar school. No. no? Not that I know of. This is in know Turner's know. Falls. You went a few times to the Shea Theater, right? Yeah, I know they use it for a lot more college stuff now. Oh, do they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man, I'm talking to my son. He's making himself dinner as I am keep muting myself because he's chopping. Um, that looks good, Zach. Awesome. All right. Hey. Um, anybody else have an opinion? I, I, they, I, they have a lot of good programs, but again, it's, you know, it's a hike there. It's not like a, I, I can't imagine a lot of Waitley people going there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And was I, there I also there. an admission fee for this one? I don't remember. Okay, let me see if it says it's free. Um, they're having Erica Wheeler. Is that what I? Yeah, heard? she's spending six weeks mm -hmm. touring. Okay, so um, cost. Let's and I, I like Erica Wheeler. No cost. With the program's focus on belonging and inclusivity, we want all to be able to attend. So there is no okay no ticket price. And Erica herself is from Franklin County. I didn't know that. I've heard her play. She lives in Franklin County, it says. I don't know if she's from Franklin County. She used yeah. to live in okay. Hampshire County. Mm. I'm sorry, Nancy, I'm a little bit lost on here. Which item is that on your... Uh... It's the Great Falls Discovery Center. It's the second to the last one. Friends of the Great uh, Falls right, Discovery Center. Er Erica lives in Colerain. Okay. But the event is at Shea Theater, which is mm -hmm. in um, Turner's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, how much publicity would they do that would attract people from Waitley? How are they going to publicize this? Or is it, see, the thing is, our job is not to publicize things. <laughs> so, we don't want to get into it's our job mm -hmm. for it or nobody comes. Again, um, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Rich, go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt, I didn't need to. Um, again, I was just saying that the Shea Theater, a lot of Waitley Grammar School, like when I was talking with Zach, he's, he's gone several times, although he says it was more involvement with the college level, apparently. Um, but I think what you'd find is that Waitley Grammar School may, and I wish there was more information associated with that, um, cause I know they do field trips to the Shea theater for a bunch of different events over the time, over the years. Um, but I didn't see anything in the application that said that, uh, but yeah, we, we still have other things to address. So we probably mm -hmm. table it now. It's not a lot mm -hmm. of money. Any other, Any other comments? What was the audience? 
Is it for children or is it for adults? Going to it now. Does anybody have it up on their computer? I don't know. I I do. Um. I well, I don't have that page up. I have the friends of the library. I mean, the library one up because I have a comment going back to that one. Okay, so it's going to serve 180 people. I think that's all the theater can seat. Um, I'm going scrolling through the pages to see what else I can glean to answer those questions. No cost target audience is adults and older students from all Franklin County towns, including those who attend the exhibit special interest programs during February and March. Um, for example, agriculture, history, art, business coming together as one to explore our sense of place. Oh, so it's connected to a program that that's, has to do with Great this Falls. Thing. You're going to go to the Great Falls Discovery Center and see an exhibit, and then there's going to be a program at the State Theater. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. What it looks like to me. So I wonder if the schools will be publicizing it. Um, it. It doesn't sound like it's designed really for the younger crowd, no, does it? No, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but high school kids, that's okay. We don't have anything for them. Press releases will be sent to regional media outlets. The exhibit and associated programs will be featured on all of the partners' websites and social media, along with email blasts. At each of the other programs, at least six programs held in various Franklin County venues, we will promote the exhibit and this event. A program booklet will be available in the exhibit hall and distributed to libraries and at events. We are fortunate to have New England Public Media to help spread the word. So that's NEPM. Okay. Um, if we can afford it, let's give them the 200. Give them what? Um, Sorry, I said, I said if we can afford it, let's give them the two hundred. Maybe it. Will. Yep, it's not a lot of money. Okay. For now, we can give it to them. And then Mary Witt, music for the soul, Waitley Town Hall. She wants to perform for seven hundred dollars. I don't think anybody has invited her. She's on her own. There's also a sliding scale of ten to twenty dollars to cover. Yeah. Hmm. What kind of soul is she addressing? Oh, it's the O tones. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. The O tones. It's three person. Yeah, they're pretty well known. Yeah, but, they're very yeah. good and they're well known, but again, it goes back to the you know sliding scale fee that yeah, no. I'd, I'd be more willing to readdress the uh, the band uh, behind the library versus that, I would think, although uh, I'm not sure what anybody else feels about that. Um, you guys, yeah. I am so terribly sorry, but I have to hop off. Yeah, I, I do as well. Um, and I, I think 700 is way too much. I would cut it in that last proposal. Yeah, well, since they're charging for entry in addition mm -hmm. to $700, I think we're going to say no because we like to provide things that are free of charge after we pay mm -hmm. for them. Uh, yeah. And we don't have anybody to promote this because they're just, they just want to do a concert, but it's not like a Waitley entity is in charge of providing publicity. Um, so... Yeah, sometime in 2023, we're supposed to book them. Uh, I don't think so. Right. Agree. Okay, so we are losing Julia and um, Paula. Who else? That who left? Paula. Paula. Yeah, okay. Um, Lovely meeting you all. Time. Uh, lovely yeah. meeting you but, too so we're down I hope to we do it again two. before march <laughs> so, and uh, be prepared for the snowstorm at the end of the week yuck <laughs> 
Right. Did we lose Adelia? No, no, I'm here. Okay. We have five left. That is a quorum. So let's just wrap up. We have, um, sorry, but that's, yeah, no public, not enough public benefit there. So we have $838 left. Um, we have some question marks where we can plug some dollars if we want. Do we want to give anything for coping with COVID isolation? No. 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 Okay. The answer is still no. <laughs> Loud and clear. Okay. Hilltown families suggest. Do we want to give them a small amount, 50 or 100? Have we ever? No. And, uh, no, I think they do fine without it. So we do have to um, provide every and um, spend every penny that we've got. Yeah, I think we can do okay. that. Can I just so, go back to one thing on the library? Okay. Um, the summer reading program, five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Four hundred of that is actually going to the program coordinators. I don't know if that means. Does that mean Julia or does that mean the people who present? Presenters. Um, let me okay. Good. look that up because that was my understanding. Um, let me find I that. I believe that's the way we were reading it, yeah. It says, yeah, salaries, fees, artists, humanists, scientists. We will be offering program coordinators, I guess, payment for their time, $400. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay, so we're okay with that. Now um, we're skipping no money for COVID isolation. And then down below that, um, Hilltown Youth Performing Arts Program. Do we want to give them a few hundred dollars um, for a Waitley child or someone from another town who can benefit from this and can get to the Heath School. That sounds okay. Yeah, we can do that. What amount? Anybody want to throw something out? Hundred dollars. That sounds okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we still have over eight hundred to distribute. So shall we get two? <laughs> I was going to say two hundred. So yeah, me too. Hundred. Okay. Right. Uh, now we don't really have enough for the big. Big band. Could um, we offer it to them and see what <laughs> my understanding is they would adjust according to what they're able to get. I don't know that they can. I mean, that's a big band. I know it um, really is. Yeah. Uh they gotta, you know, they're only paying these guys a hundred dollars each. Yeah, I know. I mean, they were really good. Band. I thought it was really fun. I mean, I got some great pictures of you and Fran dancing. <laughs> they were oh. paying this in this proposal at 60 bucks each. Yeah. 19 members. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, if we gave them a smaller amount, it's like $10 a piece or something. It, it, may, it may offer them the opportunity, opportunity to, you know, take a sliding scale. I don't uh, know that they would take a sliding scale because they're already getting nothing, but maybe they can get some money from the uh, Friends of the Library. Yeah. I assume they have money left. So yeah. shall we give them all that we've got left? Sure. Which is $638? Sure. Are there any other adjustments we need, need to make? Do we have time to go through the whole list yeah. and make sure everybody's happy? Yeah. We've fully funded... Um, the summer reading program and crafts for seniors at the library. We've fully funded uh, all the requests from the uh, elementary school. We have, although we could take off, if we want to give Gavioli more, we could take a few hundred from the marionettes. We could. Shall we give them 1150 and add 200 to? What if, gave, what if we gave them a thousand? Would that be reasonable? Mm. Well, maybe I'll split the difference. Or else would they get their money? Um, I think they take a. We'll take a little bit less, or the the school has the money. 
So now I've got 200. All right. Let's see. 1100. So we have 250 to add to Gavioli. So we're giving Tango what, 1000? 1100. 1100. OK. And then I'm going to add 250 to Gavioli, and, um, which brings them to 888. Oh, eight three eight. Okay, let's see who. If there's anybody else that we shorted, we gave everything the um, Union thirty eight asked for. We gave the Waitley Historical Society the full amount. Um, nothing for coping with COVID. Two hundred for that one singer, Jimmy Maz, for the Senior Center Christmas party. Um, hundred dollars to Hilltown families suggest, and um, seventy five to the caregiver and child, etc. Um, two hundred for the Hilltown Youth Recovery Theater Summer Workshop, with the understanding that Waitley people may not go. Uh, any comments or? questions on what we've done. We've given away all our money, we've done our job, and uh, we have a full slate of officers through March. So good work, everyone. Um, if there's no further discussion, then- uh, I move we adjourn. Second. Uh, all you seconded, in favor? I'm sorry. Ruth. Oh, so thank you. Okay. Um, so good productive vote. meeting. Yeah. Um, I guess we can just say all in favor of the journey. Aye. Say aye. 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 And those opposed. We you know, are... I really think we should go over it again. Give us another hour or so. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should all have, have dinner. Time. Thank no. you for your suggestion, Rich. Have a good night, every, <laughs> good night. everyone. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. You're welcome. Nice meeting with you. <laughs>